What is up guys, welcome back for another live in the OU tier, Gen 7 Pokebank of course. Today we are using a team inspired, uh, well heavily um, made by Blender and CBB. Uh, this team originally had Zygarde perfect form on it, but you guys should know that that's already been banned uh, by S S Blender and CBB themselves and the rest of the OU tiering council. So I decided to take the team and replace it with a Latios. Now what's really cool about Latios this gen is that it can run Soldu. Soldu, as you can see, it says it ho it's Holder, Latios, or Latias. Um, Dragon type and Psychic type moves have a uh, power of 1.2 times. So what this means is that... Uh, essentially, you almost get a life orb boost without taking the 10% or 9% every turn. Uh, and running only Draco Meteor and Psyshock, you're not losing anything. So this is the set I decided to go with. Uh, the team is not really weak to Aegislash. You can definitely handle it, especially with Swellow uh, and Hilego over here. But uh, yeah, so we're a little bit, I would say, ground weak, if anything. Uh, which is why I chose a dragon that could levitate. Uh, can also resist electric and grass, so it's a decent switch into uh, mons like uh, Zerkatree and other things like that. So let's get a game. Uh, we're actually going to be doing two of these lives in a row with this team. So uh, another one later today. I'm going to play six games in a row, basically. Try to get my uh, OU record a little bit back up because I was playing on tilt a little bit earlier. So... Uh, we do see a team that's a little bit weak to Heatran, actually. Very weak to Heatran. He has, like, four fire weaks on his team. Uh, steel, 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 and f and grass right here. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't bite him, but uh, we'll see how we can manage around his team. We're going to lead off here with Nihilego against his uh, Celesteela. And I think we're just going to go for the Thunder straight away. Uh, try to get a kill on this. Let's see if he knows the team. Does not seem to, and we're able to get a huge hit off on that. Even paralyze it and full para. So, uh, great start. He should know that this is Specs damage, so he might want to switch out into Lando. Uh, as a result, I think I'm just going to go out into Swallow here. Uh, if he goes to the Leech Seed, that's fine. He is going to switch out into Landorus, which means we get a huge Boom Burst off this turn, which is awesome. And uh, if we hit the Aegis Slash, we're just weakening it for Majorna. Uh, we are Shift Gear Majorna, which is awesome. We get get a nice 29% off on this Aegis Slash, so not too bad. I don't really want to stay in here. We do have Heatran as an option. Uh, if we want to go out into that, we do hit Magma Storm and Trap something, so that's always nice. And I think that's going to be my play. He's going to switch out. He's going to double out into Landorus, so very good on his part. Uh, but this just gives me another switch back into Swellow. Should I choose, uh, which I do choose, actually. I am going to switch back out into Swellow. Uh, as he goes for a Focus Blast and he is able to knock us out, so great play on my opponent's part. Going for the mid-ground play. And now we're going to hit up uh, Latios, I think, is fine. Uh, because he is a special attacker, Buzzwall doesn't really want to take any hits. Nihilego is also an option because we do have the hidden power Ice. Uh, I just need to weaken the Aegis Slash a little bit and then Majorna can sweep. Uh, we have Thunderbolt for the Toxapex and Flash Cannon should be able to deal with the rest of the team. Or Sphere for the uh, Kartana as well. And this thing is weakened, Celesteela. So, uh, I am just going to go out into Latios actually. Because I think Latios gets off a bigger hit than Nihilego. Uh, with Draco Meteor, so I think we're going to do that. We're just going to hit Draco. As he's going to go into Age of Slash, that's perfect. We are able to get off a huge hit on that. We're getting it into range to where we'll be able to die to a Thunderbolt from Majorna. Uh, and I'm just going to double right back out into Heatran. I don't care if he goes into Landorus. He goes for a Swords Dance, actually. So he essentially is going to lose something right here. Uh, if he goes into Lando, it's going to take a huge hit, which is nice. He's actually going to go for the Shadow Sneak, get off 52%, and we land our Magma Storm and are able to take care of the Age of Slash just like that. So... Very nice right there. The Celesteela is paralyzed and at 40%. Uh, the Toxapex doesn't really want to come in on a potential Earth Power right now. I could see Kartana coming in if it has Sacred Sword. Um, and Tapu Bulu potentially if it has uh, Max Speed Super Power as well. So we'll see what my opponent wants to do. Tapu Bulu is effectively walled by, um, by Buzzwool because it doesn't run any, uh, any kind of uh, fairy coverage. So he goes into Kartana. I'm expecting the Secret Sword to come out here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go directly into Buzzwall here. As he does go for the Sacred Sword. Uh, that does not look like banded damage at all. That just looks like standard. Probably Scarf. Uh, could even be Leftovers for all I know. But I'm just going to go for a Substitute here because this thing can't really hit me. He's going to go into Toxapex. That's perfect. We're going to get off our sub. And we're going to be able to go for an EQ right here and hit this thing pretty hard. We have 414 attacks, so it's not going to take this too well. He's going to go for the Baneful Bunker. I mean, he's just giving me leftovers recovery, so I really, really don't mind. Uh, I'm actually going to go for an Ice Punch trying to catch Celesteela here. Actually, as he goes into Tapu Bulu, even better. Awesome. So we get a, a super effective hit off on this thing. And uh, I'm just going to go for another Ice Punch. 
we are potentially faster. I don't know. We'll see. This thing just walls everything, man. This might get thumbnail. Look at this. Destroyed. Plus one attack. Now what's dealing with me? Let's go. Buzzwall sweep right here. Cartana comes in. This is fine. We are going to go for an earthquake. It's probably going to go for the smart strike. Psycho cut. Okay, cool. I can switch into that. Uh, we're going to go for the earthquake. It's not going to do too much. Let's see if he's leftovers. He is. Uh, we should be able to take a psycho cut from this thing. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go for the leech life. Let's see what he wants to do. He might switch out here, actually. He does switch out, predicting me. Yep. And Lando's going to lose almost half of its health, so that's beautiful. Uh, I don't think it can knock me out with anything, because I resist everything that it has that it can use with life orb, including earth power. So I'm actually just going to go for an ice punch right here, except for psychic. I forgot about that one. All right. Uh, <laughs> we're going to go into... Um, do we go nail Lego here? And just go for a power gem. I just want Majorna to sweep, really. Like, that's all I want to do, is just sweep with Majorna. Yeah, let's go into Nihilego. We're faster. Uh, I can just go for a power gem here. If he goes into Toxapex, it's fine. He's weakening that thing, too. And I can set up on that with Majorna, so. He's gonna go out into Toxapex. Alright, cool. We get fi- What? What? Yo, this thing is strong, man. That's insane. That's crazy damage. He goes for Bunker. That doesn't matter. This is a special attack. Uh, he's just getting back health, I guess. He, I mean, he can't really switch out into anything. Look how much that did. And Cartana has really bad special defense. So, that's not going to take it well either. He's going to go for a Scald. He's going <laughs> to get off 25%, which is nothing. And I think I'm actually going to switch out into Majorna here. And just start sweeping. Uh, through his team. How much... I can't remember how much Cartana is at. It's pretty high, I think, in health. I'm going to go out into Majorna, though. As he's going to switch out into Cartana right away. Okay. Uh, we should be able to take any hit. The problem is... Can we take two? Can we take two smart strikes from this thing? How much is its base attack again? Uh, Cartana. Let's see. Let's see it together. Base 181. So let's do that with a Ferrothorn. Uh, base attack of 181. I love how I already had Ferrothorn up. We'll give him 252. Uh, and put him against um, Klefki. Klefki, what is my base uh, HP on this thing? Uh, I get to 301 and 266 defense. So I think I need to go max here. Lower this a little bit. 266 and we are 301. So let's do like uh, 160 here. A little bit more. Uh, how much do we take from not a gyro ball but a sacred sword? Uh, 37 of 41, how much do we take from a, um, Iron Head base 70? Let's see. Uh, we're gonna take f half. Okay, so we should be able to take it. I'm gonna go for the shift gear. It's gonna go for Sacred Sword. It's gonna do under half. That's beautiful. We are going to go for the Aura Sphere right here. Uh, he's, he's still faster than us. If we can knock him out, though, this should be game. We do knock him out. Okay, cool. So we should be faster than everything. We have the plus one. We have Thunderbolt on deck for these two. And that is GG. So my opponent forfeits. We'll move on into the next game. As you guys can see, this, this team is extremely threatening. It's just so, so good. Um, I think I played this guy earlier. Uh, now, what's really cool is that Heatran has uh, Grass EMZ with Solar Beam. So it's kind of like Power Herb Solar Beam, uh, except that it's a lot stronger. Uh, it hits for base 160, I believe. So it instantly knocks out anything that's weak to grass. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm really scared of the Tapu Lele. That's the big, that's my biggest fear. And I'm really weak to ground, so I can't just bring out Heatran whenever I want. Uh, I think I'm going to lead off here with, uh, Swello. As he leads off with Genesec. Now, if this thing is Scarfed, uh, I can knock me out with a, with an Ice Beam. I don't know if I want to risk that right now. Because this thing puts in a lot of work. Now I'm just going to click Boom Burst. He's going to click U-Turn, he gets a crit. Something has to take a boom burst, and something is essentially dead right here. This is a huge, huge hit. He's going to go out into Rotom. This is dead. This is dead to two. Yep. And goodbye, Rotom. Awesome. All right, so no more Rotom, uh, which means that Buzzwool uh, actually works out a lot better. Feramosa is going to come in. I'm going to go directly into Buzzwool here. Um, if he's Life Orb, he's going to take a Life Orb hit. If he goes for Ice Beam, that's kind of bad, but we should be able to take two. He goes for a High Jump Kick. We can eat that up. That looks like Bandit damage to me. Life Orb. Okay. All right, so it is Life Orb. Um, we're gonna go for the substitute here as he goes for U-turn. Awesome. Okay, so we get up our sub. He takes 20% total on his Feramosa, which is awesome. He's gonna go out into Charizard, which is just fine by me. I'm expecting this to be Charizard X. I really want to click uh, Earthquake here. 
If it's Y, I can always switch out into my Latios, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, yeah, we're gonna click Earthquake. He actually goes for Flare Blitz without Mega Evolving, so very good play. Uh, and he's gonna take a little bit of recoil there. I expect him to Dragon Dance here. I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. He should either Dragon Dance or Dragon Claw. He shouldn't Flare Blitz again. I have a Latios. In theory. In theory. We'll see. He actually switches out into Doug Trio, which is perfect because we knock this thing down to its Sash, and this cannot break my sub. So I'm gonna substitute up in front of it. Yeah, Stone Edge doesn't break this. It's neutral, it's non-stab, and we have a huge defense stat. So I'm gonna go for Leech Life. He's gonna go for Stone Edge, as you can see, that does not break it, and we're able to knock out the Duck Trio, and we get our plus one attack. So now we're even more threatening. <laughs> And uh, Charizard's gonna come back out. I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch. He's gonna go for Dragon Claw and break our sub. This should kill. Uh, no, wow. He's super bulky. Okay. Um, Dragon Claw, huh? You're not gonna Dragon Claw again. I'm gonna go to Latios. Uh, he Mega Evolves and goes for the Flare Blitz. Beautiful. Okay. So now he's in Psy Shock range. So we can just fire that off. He, if he wants to go into Genesect, that's absolutely fine. His biggest threat is gone. His biggest threat is gone. It's out of here. Uh, Psyshock does a nice amount to Tapu Lele, actually. It does uh, 37%. I don't necessarily want to sack this. But if he goes for a Moonblast, I think Majorna sets up and wins at this point. Because we still have Corkscrew. Uh, if you guys don't know, that's uh, it's Z-Move. It's Corkscrew uh, Crash. So we're going to go for another Psyshock here. Let's see what he does. He probably is Psychics. No, he Shadow Balls. Okay, perfect. Okay. So what that means is that Swallow's getting another kill. Um, let's go for the Boom Burst right here. We knock out the Tapu Lele. Beautiful. Uh, as Feramosa comes in. Now, Feramosa did a lot to Buzzwool before. I think it did, what, 33% with High Jump Kick? Let's see. 33. Okay, so if he knocks me out here, we could be in trouble. Does Majorna take one? Let's find out. Give me a Fighting type. Give me a Fighting type. Heracross. Match typings. Um, this thing has a little more attack than this. It hits 137. Uh, max attack, give me life orb. Where's the. Uh, yeah, life orb's fine. Uh, essentially close combat. Uh, no, high jump kick. Let's go with high jump kick. <sighs> wow. Uh, that's a huge amount of damage. Something I really don't want to take. And I don't, I don't think Buzzwool lives afterwards. That's the problem. We're gonna go for. Uh, okay, he goes for Ice Beam. He gets plus one speed. His attack doesn't go up. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Uh, we can go into Buzzwool now. And we can go for the Ice Punch. Uh, I don't know if his Ice Beam knocks me out, though. That's the issue. Okay, it does. He's plus two speed. However, we just calced High Jump Kick. It's a roll uh, from Max Attack Life Orb. That's if he's Max Attack Adamant. Uh, but he's not. He can't be. Because if he was Adamant, he wouldn't be gaining speed boosts. He has to be Jolly. Uh, which means that High Jump Kick has a 6.3% uh, chance to Oko right here. So I'm gonna go into Majorna. We're gonna click Shift Gear, and we're going to we're going to hope for the best. <laughs> That's all we can do. Uh, High Jump Kick does 85%, so I think he gets a minimum roll there. Uh, why did I Shift Gear? Wait a minute. I'm not faster than this. I shouldn't have done that. Whoops. That's my fault. That's my fault, guys. That's entirely my fault. Now I have to play off of a miss. Ah, oh, that sucks. All right, we're gonna go into Nihilego. Uh, which takes this neutrally, actually. But we have 129 defense. We're never going to take this. There's no way. I'm going to go for Power Gem just in case. Yeah, he knocks us out clean. We're going to go into Heatran. I expect this Charizard to have an Earthquake anyway. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Hidden Power Electric. It should kill. Uh, he's going to knock us out with High Jump Kick. So that was my fault. We could have had that situation avoided. Um, but I misplayed and went for a Shift Gear when I shouldn't have. I was, I was thinking about the Sweep rather than thinking about getting rid of Feramosa. So that was uh, that was a big faux pas on my part. Pukumuku, what do you do? Hold on a second. Pukumuku. Pukumuku. Uh, I have to switch to this. Um, you have five base speed. Amazing. Uh, <laughs> okay, you have a lot of defense. What is innards out? Okay, you have unaware and innards out. Um, but you get some kind of really OP move, don't you? I know you do, but I can't remember what it is. Okay, we'll figure it out during the game. 
Hopefully it doesn't cost us the game, but uh, we're gonna lead off here with Heatran. He doesn't have a Doug Trio, so I'm not uh, worried about he leading with it. He actually leads off with Marowak. Now this thing could have um, this thing could have Earthquake. Do I want to play it safe and just go into Swallow? This thing does a lot of work. Then again, so did the others. I'm just going for Earth Power. Get off a nice 79% as he goes for Earthquake. Yeah, I figured as much. All right, well now Swallow essentially gets a kill. Um, I'm gonna go for Heat Wave, predicting either the Skarmory or the um, this thing, Majorna, to come in. Let's see. It's actually gonna be Tapu Fini, so he resists it. Amazing. All right, uh, we're gonna go out into um, just gonna go out into Majorna. He can't burn us or anything, so we're we're okay. Goes for the Moon Blast. That's fine. Uh, can I win here? Hold on a second. Marowak's low. Pukumuku is the only thing. What's its typing? Um, Pukumuku is pure water. Okay, let's go for the shift gear. Let's see what he does. He goes into Marowak. Okay. Um, I can't knock this out with anything, can I? No, I cannot. Okay. Hold on a second. I have to rethink this. I'm going to set up later. I'm going to go into Latios here. Latios, excuse me. On the fire punch. Okay. Is he banded? I did a lot. Whoa. Um, I'm just going to go for Psy Shock here. If he's banded, then he doesn't have any HP investment, which means I think I can take him out with a Flash Cannon. He's going to go into Tapu Fini. He's going to take a huge hit. I'm just going to go for another Psy Shock here. I don't expect him to go for a Fairy move. Uh, okay, never mind. He lets me set up again. All right, cool. Let's go into Majorna, and let's try to win this time. Does Marowak die? Chandelure. Chandelure. Uh, Marowak stats or what? Let's find out. I do have a Marowak team here that Joey was using. What are your stats? 60 and 80. All right, so base 60 and base 80 with no investment uh, from a flash cannon coming off of how much special attack. We have 359, we are base 130. Uh, 130 and 252. I think we're, um, are we timid or modest? Did I make this thing modest? Uh, 394, yes I did. Modest. Uh, Sorry guys, 394, Flash Cannon does 33%, yes, okay, cool. Let's go for Shift Gear. He goes out into Skarmory, perfect. We'll go for the Thunderbolt here. And I'm pretty sure the Marowak is indeed, um, he goes for Whirlwind, okay, cool. Oh, this is nice. Hold on a second, we're faster than Marowak. All I have to do here is go for an Ice Punch. As long as he's not max speed. He goes into Tapu Bulu. Perfect. Okay, so we're able to get off a nice hit on that. 46% to be precise. Um, I'm just going to go for another Ice Punch because I don't think this thing can hit me. He goes for Leech Seed. Yeah, it can hit me. All right, we're going to double out into Majorna here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to double out into Majorna, predicting either the Tapu Fini or anything. Uh, he's going to go into Pikumuku, though. I'm really worried about this thing, guys. <laughs> I don't know what this does. Uh, I'm gonna play it safe and go out into Swallow. His only check to Swallow is now weakened. He's gonna go for Pain Split and gain nothing from that. Beautiful. And we're just gonna go for the... He's Leftovers. Okay, so he doesn't have a Sash. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Boom Burst. It's gonna do nice and 63%. Okay, he's gonna go for Toxic. That's fine. He doesn't have a switch into Swallow anymore. Like, his only switch in is Majorna. But even that doesn't want to take a hit. That took 22%. Okay, nice. Uh, let's go for another one. I can't see this thing beating me. He goes for Volt Switch. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, so depending on what he goes into, I think we win. Let's see. It's going to be Tapu Bulu. Awesome. All right, so let's go into... Um, I think we go into Nihilego and start firing off Power Gems. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go into Nihilego and go for the Power Gem. Let's see how much it does. I think it should knock this thing out from this range. We'll see. But uh, Skarmory's low. Pukumuku uh, took a huge hit just now. If he lets me get up a couple of boosts, we will be able to win this game. Hopefully, hopefully. Maybe there's something I'm neglecting, but we got everything really, really low, which is nice. As he's going to go out into Majorna to take a Power Gem. He actually only takes 16% from that. Is he Leftovers? No. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go for another one. 
get another 19% off. He's gonna go for Flash Cannon. He's gonna crit us, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh, he's in Grassy Terrain. That's why. Okay. Um, I don't want to give this thing another boost by going into Buzzwall. So I'm just gonna go into Majorna, and we are going to go for the Shift Gear. If he... Um, if he has something to hit us, it doesn't matter. Because we have Corkscrew Crash. I gotta remember that. We still have a more powerful move than Flash Cannon. I'm gonna go for the Shift Gear. He's gonna go for the Volt Switch. It's only gonna do 42%. That's perfect. That's all I wanted to see. Not get under 25% for the Pukumuku. Uh, we will be able to knock this thing out here, I think. Uh, let's go for the T-Bolt. Uh, we have shown it. I'd be surprised if he doesn't switch out, but anyway. Let's go for it, and it is not actually able to knock him out. He's going to go for the Pain Split, but we are still at 31, so now we just have to go for another T-Bolt, and we should be fine. Uh, because we're going to take 25% from this. Uh, no, it does more. What? Oh, it does as much as you take. Oh, that's what I forgot about it. Yep. All right. Well, I think that's GG. He's going to go out into Tapu Bulu. Um... Not sure why. I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch. We get a, a really high roll and we're gonna get a plus one attack boost. Do I still win this? Hold on a second. Well, it depends how fast Maj uh, Majorna is and what it has to hit me with. Because if it only has Flash Cannon, I can definitely still win. Let's see what he goes out into first. He's gonna go out into Majorna. Okay. Do you have the Dazzling Gleam? You're slower than me. Okay, goodbye. We go to plus two. Buzzwall coming through. Come on, man. Skarmory comes in. I'm going to go for an ice punch. Going to get another boost. <laughs> you have nothing for this. Tapu Fini comes in. Yeah, you're not taking a leech life, buddy. Goodbye. And we are faster than Marowak because we know he's pretty attack invested at, at the very least. So goodbye, Marowak, and that is GG. Awesome. Okay, so we come out with three, uh, two wins and one loss in this one. As I said before, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to continue with another live with this team. Hopefully, I can pull out three wins in that one. Let's see if we can do it. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.